Welcome back to the Chew with Rue. We're back again with another one of our famous recipe episodes. And today is one of my absolute favorite dishes. We're going to create a side dish. It is my creamy coleslaw. Guys, this is a fantastic recipe for your low-carb kitchen. But before we get going with that, we have got to choose our bobblehead for the episode. So to help me, I'm going to bring in my sea bear. This is Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Hi. Would you help us choose a bobblehead to use with coleslaw? Slugger. Slugger. Slugger, the Royals mascot. As long as we call him Slogger, that'll be just <laughs> fine. Grab me Slogger out of there. This is a fantastic recipe, you guys, and a fantastic bobblehead. In fact, it's in my prestigious favorite bobblehead cabinet. Let's check out my famous creamy coleslaw with Slogger. It's the with all right so here's what you're going to need to make the world's fastest and most delicious low carb slaw you're going to need yourself a half cup of mayonnaise a fourth cup of sour cream two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, another two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm just gonna go right out of this little squeeze bottle here today. We're also gonna need a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. A little bit of this stuff, I love this. It comes in two different containers. We're gonna feature it on an episode coming up. It's called Easy Sweets. You can use any liquid stevia product. I love this. It used to come like this in a little bottle like that. I've got a little bit of that left, so I'm actually gonna use that today. Some of the fanciest stuff you're ever going to need. Um, I used to think this stuff was so fancy when I was a kid. A little gray poupon. For those of you my age, hopefully you remember that commercial. It was very transformative in my childhood. I thought this stuff was going to be way better than it actually is. You need a little bit of that. You're going to need some garlic salt, celery salt, and some ground black pepper. And then, of course, our most important ingredient to creating our slaw we're gonna need some slaw. And so uh, for this, guys, I'm really gonna encourage you to buy uh, angel hair coleslaw because it gives you a really good texture in there. People don't expect it. And also, this is all gonna be made up of green cabbage. So a little bit less carbs because you're not gonna have the carrots and stuff like that. You, of course, don't have to be lazy like me. You can buy yourself a head of cabbage and shred it. But remember, on the chew it through, if we can buy it, we're gonna buy it. And this is not expensive. I've got two bags worth of angel hair coleslaw. The carbohydrate content is going to be the primary carbohydrates in this entire dish. And if you do the math, total carbs, 5 grams. And we've got total dietary fibers of 2. So 3 net grams of carbs. And that's about 1.5 cups of this awesome stuff right here. So uh, a pretty good dish and pretty low carb. Let's get to making it. Okay, so step one, all we got to do is get all of our wet ingredients together. We're going to take, uh, first I like to take the mayonnaise, get in there. You want to get all this stuff combined, and then all you're really going to do is you're just going to get it mixed in with that coleslaw mixture. I love these little silicone uh, measuring cups that Sydney got me a little bit ago. And we got our sour cream. You kind of just, because you can just pop the bottom and everything kind of just falls out of it. So really recommend these uh, quite a bit. This slaw I discovered as a part of another um, recipe that I created. I was looking to create a barbecue taco. Now you can do that too. You can create your own barbecue taco. All it's gonna take is finding, I would just take some pre-made. Um, we like to buy from Sam's Club. We like to buy pre-made and uh, pre-ready to go brisket, or you can use burn ends and stuff like that. I didn't realize that this was brand new. I'm gonna to have to open it up. This is how you open a container of lemon. I know you all are very interested in that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks again to everybody who's been commenting out there, giving me new recipes. I love to see this. It's actually getting passed around to some people I don't know. That's weird to see people I don't know actually watching this channel. My goal is to get to, you know, the, the level where I, 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 you know, I'm known as like Bobby Flay and all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. I really don't. So we've got two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons, again, of our lemon juice. We're gonna take our Grey Poupon right here, and for this, we only need a little bit of this. You can use any Dijon mustard. I just think it's fancy to buy this stuff. I really like it. Half teaspoon of that. Get that mixed in. In there as well. And so all of our wet ingredients now are gonna to come together, and we're gonna mix in our, um, our seasonings once that's done. All right, so this is a really sweet product. It's called Easy Sweets. You can actually buy it on uh, Amazon. I'll be reviewing it coming up um, in my five items for low carb 
lifestyle. I like it in this container. I just purchased this because I'm about to run out. These little guys, um, it really only takes a couple of droplets of this stuff to really give you all the sweetness you need. So two little droplets and you're ready to go. Sorry for the bombs bursting in air in the background. It is the 4th of July after all. Just give it a little mix. All right, so next up we're gonna add in a half teaspoon of garlic salt. Gotta love that garlic salt. And then we go to that quarter teaspoon and we add ourselves some celery salt. You know, everybody's commenting about my camera angles. Mom, I'm trying not to lean down as much in this episode, we'll see. But I tend to find a camera angle where you can see the food. I'm trying to make it about the food, and then I want to get down here and talk to you guys. And so my mom says that I do that way too much, but I'm gonna keep doing it, I guess. Half teaspoon ground pepper, boom. Everything is ready to go. I've got my wet ingredients all put together. Now for me, the next step to this stuff is pretty simple. I'm gonna take all of this coleslaw stuff, I'm gonna put it in whatever dish I'm gonna serve it in, because I'm, I'm not gonna mess up another dish. So I'm taking this over to my in-laws today for our 4th of July party. In fact, you probably heard some bombs bursting in air in the background. I'm just gonna load this stuff up, add these wet ingredients, and we've got ourselves really an incredible slaw. I promise you guys, you are not gonna be disappointed by this slaw. I was actually really glad that Chloe chose to grab Slugger for today's uh, episode. Not only because it's a slogger, but uh, Slugger is actually one of my most sought after bobbleheads. This guy right here is one of the rarest in Kansas City baseball history. And in fact, was only the second bobblehead ever given away by the club, which started back in 2002. Carlos Beltran was the very first, and a month later in June, they gave away this slugger. But the story goes that there was a rain out that day, or well, it was at least a rainy day that they ended up playing baseball after a delay. They were giving these away to, for the first 10,000, but they were trying to give them to the kids. And so the story is that only about 2,000 of these actually found their way into the hands of people. The team wasn't ex exactly that great in 2002, if you can remember. So there weren't a lot of fans there anyway. And with the rain and the compounding that the game was delayed, a lot of people didn't come out and get these little guys. So this is one of the most sought after bobbleheads in the history of the Royals franchise. Slugger the mascot hasn't been around that long. Slugger became uh, the Royals mascot in April of 1996. And so it was still a pretty new mascot when the Royals started their bobbleheads and they were trying to get the acclaim of Slugger up there. Now the Royals have really embraced Slugger. Early on, I thought this was a terrible idea to have this mascot. I remember Mr. Royal uh, being a logo that was used for some time when I was a kid, but Slugger didn't make any sense to me. But of course, now we love Slugger and the kids seek out the pictures with Slugger and go see him all the time at the games. So that's a little history of the Slugger mascot bobblehead. I was actually thankful to have a former student's father give me this bobblehead. I got a message, he saw pictures of us uh, getting together with the kiddos and going to the games to pick up the bobbleheads. He said, I've got a bobblehead that's my son's that he just left in a box. Would you like it? I was like, sure, I didn't know what it was. And come to find out it was one I've been looking for for a long time. So shout out uh, to Chris Gray and his family for getting me this bobblehead and added to my collection. Let's get back to the slaw. Did you know that coleslaw is Dutch? And we get its name from Koolsla, which uses the Latin root for cabbage, colis. I guess the better question is, do you care? All right, so here it is. Wet ingredients, dry ingredients, a spoon, and a gentle stir. And you're going to have yourself the hit of the party. This works great on a barbecue taco. All you do is make that cheese shell that I talked about on the gyro recipe. You can click on the old episodes if you want to see that one. Get yourself a little brisket. Maybe some of that barbecue sauce I just reviewed, that G. Hughes barbecue sauce. Put that on there, top it with this slaw. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have no idea how good it's smelling so good as we put it all together. You just mix it all together. Be a little patient. Don't get too aggressive with it. And really, before you serve this thing, you need to take it and you need to chill it in the fridge for at least an hour, let all those come together. You can make this up a day ahead, let those ingredients come together, get, get all the flavors to meld together. And it's gonna make, for me anyway, a fantastic little barbecue dish to go along with our eats we're gonna have here on the 4th of July.
All right, moment of truth. I grabbed a fork this time. I'm hearing you guys stop eating with your hands, Steven. So <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna grab myself a bite of this slaw. It's so good. It's absolutely perfect. You won't miss any of the carbohydrates, any of the sugar. You get just a bite of that Dijon. You get the pepper, the celery salt. It adds quite a little bite, the garlic. The sweetness of that liquid stevia, this is to die for. Guys, this is as great as a side item. Put it on any barbecue dish. I could see this paired with some pulled pork. Fantastic stuff. I hope you like it. Thanks for tuning in. It's the Welcome back to the Chew with Rue. We're going to be back again with another... It's shaking. It's an earthquake. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chew... Why are you laughing? Welcome back to the Chew with Rue. Blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode. I want to say a special thank you to those folks who are liking these videos, commenting down below, and sharing this with friends. Our goal for next week is to get up to 100 subscribers. Ooh, that's a lofty goal. Right now as it sits, we're sitting just short of 50. Can you help me out? Let's get this channel going and I'll keep providing you with awesome low-carb content for the whole family. Thanks for all your support. See you guys. It's